Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Tonight we have the Brynite XP-22 Scorpion. This is a dual head weapons light. Very low profile. I'm kind of really liking this light, you guys. I'll explain that as we go. Um, I want to first of all thank Brynite. They sent this out to me and I want to thank you guys too. Um, first thing on this, you guys, I do love the build quality of this. It this dual head had me um, kind of like, uh, I don't know. I didn't know what to think about it. Um, I would show you guys on a little setup I got, but I don't want to, you know, my channel is small. I worked really, you know, hard to get it to where it's at. I don't really know all the, the stipulations. I've seen some you cannot do's on it, but I know there's channels out there that, you know, that's all they do. So I'm not... Uh, I do apologize, but I will measure the lumens on this, you guys, and we'll take it outside and I'll just show you. It's real simple um, functions, you guys. It's just two modes, basically three modes. It's 400 lumens and then you get strobe and then a lockout. So basically that's it, which is good. I plan actually um, from just playing with this for the little bit of time I've had it. I plan on getting a um, a tactical, some type of a, a tactical shotgun, you guys, with side uh, Picatinny rails. And uh, I think this will be awesome for that. That's what one of my uh, little fu future um, purchases is going to be. But yeah, what we'll do is um, we'll get into it. This also does have magnetic charging, you guys, which is kind of cool. But this thing is just pretty slick, in my opinion give you guys a look at that and i think these have the osram uh i will look you guys but there's your magnetic charging there's your light uh here's your switch and there's your little picatinny rail and it does look like you can switch out the blocks you guys it didn't come with none i'll double check but yeah it's pretty slick looking you guys So, and it has a really nice low profile. So if you got a scope, it'll sit above your scope or below your scope. And if you have some type of optics, you'll see just on the bottom of your optics. But other than that, it's really, um, I like it. And I like the ease of it. How, you know, there's for home, home protection. I think it'd be a good, uh, weapons light for home protection on a shotgun. That's my opinion. All right, so we got, yeah, basically there it is, the 400 lumens, you guys, that picks it up. Jeez, this camera's terrible. I got to upgrade, you guys. And, um, let you guys read that. I also have a, a link in there, you guys, for Amazon. The price on this is 139 I believe. And if you guys know, weapons lights are expensive. I have a few. This is my first one outside of Olight. I think I have three or four Olights. And this is right around the range of them too, you guys. I do have a couple of cheaper Olights than this, but nothing like this, the dual head, which is pretty cool. And it does, up close, it's um, it does show two beams, but when you get, let's say, five feet to ten feet plus, it, it equals one beam. And you get a little card, and I'll show you guys a charger real quick. Get this back in there. So here's the magnetic charger, you guys. And you just pop that on just like this. And there it is. It'll turn green when it's fully charged. So I like that, but if you do lose this... Um, you know what? Let me check. If you lose that cable, you're going to have to get a replacement. Unless they got universal chargers that I'm not sure of yet. Let's see how much is in the battery, you guys. How much capacity. Because it will run 70 minutes on high at 400 lumens. So you get an hour and 10 minutes. And then you'll get 100 minutes on strobe, which is also 400 lumens. So it's 900 milliamp hours is the battery, you guys. It's a built-in polymer battery. 3.7 volts, 900 milliamps. Okay. So 
So that's definitely enough for your home protection. All right, we're gonna come over here, you guys, and um, let me see if we get the 400 lumens. Now this has a dual head, so I can make something and get them both in there, but I'm just gonna measure one at a time, and then we'll um, we'll basically know what it is. All right, you guys. All right. Um, so yeah, it's just basically one little click, you guys. Let me switch this out. And yeah, that's perfect. So, oops, I didn't mean to, I actually did it twice. So it's double click, get your strobe. So we got 250, 249 on the first head. And then we'll flip it around. And 232 on the second so you're getting well over the 400 they claim so that's nice and like i said uh strobe warning you guys strobe warning is pretty it's easy just double click real simple that's it and then if you want to lock it out and you can see the dual the um the double circles but if you pull it back and there you go it turns into one and i'm probably two feet away you guys so even um, closer than I said earlier. But yeah, what we'll do is we'll take it outside and uh, we'll just see what it looks like, you guys. I'll just flash it like this. Sorry, I wish I could show you guys it on a mountain. It, it, it does look nice. That's why I kind of know what I want to get for that. So, but yeah, we're going to go outside and we'll check it out. All right, you guys, see it's pretty dark back out here. And uh, we got the Bright Knight XP22 Scorpion. See if I can get it on. So there it is. Like I said, for indoors, for what I'm going to use, this is going to be perfect, you guys. Like I said, no fumbling around with modes. You got one or two. That's good enough right there for anything close now we'll do the strobe it's decent it'll work and like I said if you guys want to lock it out you just hold it um, I think from on for five seconds we'll try it yeah so that's confirming so now it's locked out, I can't do nothing. And then you just hold it for five seconds. And it'll come like this new, it's already locked out. And then it's back on. But yeah, it's a decent little light. I can't wait to get what I intend to get for it. But yeah, we'll bring it back in and we'll wrap it up, you guys. All right, you guys, that's the Brynite XP22 Scorpion. I like it. And then also, too, you guys, um, this is so easy to snap on a Picatinny rail, you guys. It's really fast. You got your, you can unscrew it to tighten and loosen. And then uh, it has a little slot for a little coin, nickel, quarter, to help you tighten it. Or you can just use the square. And I use just a square, no issues. But really fast. Actually, faster than my O-lights to get on. So I like that, the interchangeability of it. And uh, it looks cool, though. I ain't going to lie. It does look cool. It's a cool. I, that's If it wasn't, I wouldn't even brought it on the channel, you guys. And I think it's priced good because weapons lights are expensive. When I first started looking at them, I was looking at, I believe, the Surefires or I don't know. They're like three, four hundred bucks. I was like, wow. And then I found the O-Lights and I was happy. I've been happy with them. So this is my first one outside of O-Light and... Uh, I like it. I definitely like it for what I'm going to use it for. But yeah, on that one, you guys, um, I'll definitely have uh, some links for you guys to check it out if you guys want to see anything else. It's real simple. Two modes, three modes with the lockout, and great build quality. And if you have to use it easy, you know, no fumbling around, just click and it's on. That's it. No, No hassling with trying to find your other modes it's right there but on that one you guys i appreciate everyone for tuning in god bless and i'll see you guys on the next one